Guys, dolls, we're back eventually. James, the man, the mystery. Now, the man in the iron mask. OTF, please subscribe. Hello, guys. And special guest, Pablo. He's a bit shy. So, yeah, now, give us a bit of history on field. Yeah, yeah, it's a cracking field. Um, there's a, a lot of medieval, a uh, bit of Roman, uh, Georgian. Um, there, there's everything on here. It's absolutely full. So You've you had some good it. stuff off this yeah, field, haven't you? Find. I've had a bit of gold off here, which is uh, always nice. Oh, Plenty oh, of hammers, um, loads of coins, silver to silver field. This is full of silver. So you guys are going to get silver today. Definitely. So that's what we're looking for. So yeah, James had a bit of a, a shitty time at the moment, but nice. we're getting back on our feet now. So anyway, now, Jim and me, let's get at it. We'll see you on the first. On the first now. On the first, yeah. First. On the first. Catch you later. All right, boys and girls. Got the first target. Oh, I think that might be a coin. No, it's a button. Let's give it a quick wipe. Yeah, it's a button. It's got something written on it. Uh, clean it up. And, uh, yeah. I clean it up and see what it says. Right, catch on next. Well, guys, nice to be back. First found a spoon handle, <laughs> or it could be a fork. Don't think there's anything on it, guys. But yeah. First found in the park, on to the next. There we go guys, another button. Cool. I like buttons. Right, catch on next. Well guys, my next signal, and it's a surface found. You can't hear this buzzing. There it is, guys. Oh, a pocket watch wander. Not bad for a second signal there. Let's see if there's anything on it. Yep, there's definitely something on it. Let me just give it a clean. Definitely something on it. Well, guys, what a field. Paul's digging over there. Jim's digging over there, and Nal's over there. So, yeah, watch Wander in the park. On to the next. Right, guys, got the target. Uh, I had dug it out. That's just right there. I think it might be a coin. No, it's a washer. Oh well. Yep, just a washer. Alright, catch on next. Well guys, number three. Came out from down there and it couldn't get any smaller guys. It's a little bum. How cool is that? Let me give you a clean, I'll get back to you. Well guys, what about that? I think they call them a... Ball button, B-I button, not too sure. But yeah, button, button, button. On to the next. Hi guys, I'm on target, and there we go. No button, still got the shank pin on it. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's but well, that it was on top, so yeah, pretty cool. Right, catch on next. Well, guys, it looks like it's a fire musket ball. On to the next. Well, guys, I don't know what it is for me today, but I've got another button. 
seems to be digging all these up. Button number four or five, I think that is. Cool. Catch you on next. Well, guys, my next found, and it's an old eh? Came from down there, it was reading 81. And I think it's a lead token. Flat on back. I'm gonna rub on the old magic pants. Oh! There's definitely some type of design there. But yeah guys, lead token in the pocket. On to the next. Well guys, I've got no target. Do you know what it is? I've not got a clue. I've not got a clue what it is. Could be part of a spoon or not got a clue. Right, catch you on next. Well guys, uh, my mate. Uh, we'll call him Escobar. Has just found this little button, and we reckon it's pretty weighty. We reckon it might be silver, but I'm thinking pewter. But it's pretty heavy. So yeah, guys, button in the pot for Escobar. Alright, guys. Yeah, uh, I think that's a little hobnail. Uh, I'm not too sure. There you go. Could be a hobnail, I'm not sure. Alright, catch on that. Well, guys, we've come from there to here, and uh, we think we might have found a coin. It's looking like a coin. Does it look like it's kind of shank on it? And just have a look, Paul. Just give us a minute, guys. Well, guys, we've cleaned it up best we can. And to me, it looks like a hammered. But I'm going to let Niall have a look at it. Niall's a bit more. Because for some reason, when you turn it over, it looks like there used to be a shank. But anyway, coin in the pot. On to the next. Right guys, it's a musket ball. Definitely been fired because it hit something. It's right on one side. Yep, that's it. Just a musket. Let's catch on next. Well guys, we've dug a little bit, but it's live dig time. Paul's finding another signal. Uh, he's only a novice, my mate Paul, so he's getting used to his machine, but I've configured it a little bit. And we're getting a solid 99. I'm expecting but I expect it not last and it might be a coin. How deep are we getting there, Paul? Full deck. Check another shovel for it. Right in front of there. Yeah, he's just learning it, Paul. He's only been doing it about, about eight months. But he's found a few things. He's using the Garrett 400 eye. Doctor, we have a hurt. Take another shovel for like Paul. Paul. Hang on a bit, hang on a bit, hang on a bit. What's that white thing sticking out there? That's it. Off 
Sort of nice bit of white glaze there. You're keeping us in suspense, Pablo. Out. You know what they call that, boys and girls? Booby prize. It's a CCK Celtic cock ring. <laughs> On to the next. Hi guys, I've uh, got another target and uh, it's part of a coin. Uh, can't really tell what's on it. Oh well, yeah, the first coin anyway. Alright, catch on next. Well guys, I've just left Paul there and I've come back doing a bit. Surface find. And I do believe it may be a coin. Let me just put you on pause, I'll get back to you. Well guys, I think it's a hammered. But I'm not sure. It's thin. I'm not saying hammered at the moment. I'll get an alpha check it. But on to the next. Well guys, my next signal, it's been a while. Musket shot. Well, local musket ball, that's where the history is guys. On to the next. Well guys, it looks like I've got one. It's definitely something. It's a button. I thought it was a coin then. Button in the pock. Looks a bit weird, but I can definitely see it shank there. Well guys, my next find just came under there. Check it. Something lead. Some sort of weight. Pretty thick. Looks like it's off a mould or something. Perm guard? I don't think so. It's too small. If anybody's ideas, you know what to do. Post below. All things lead. I'll send a picture to you. So yeah guys, lead in the hole. On to the next. We'll go right on that DVD. Well guys, we're all just uh, comparing fans. Niles brought his fans box with him today. Awesome stuff in there. We'll probably find some of this today. But anyway, when I thought my last span, guys, uh, I've just been talking to Nile and he reckons it might be a Saxon buckle. Move out a bit, Paul. Turn it over guys. I'm not going to clean it here. I'm going to clean it when I get home. But yeah, that's definitely something guys. On to the next. Well guys, uh, look what I'm using. Uh, take some getting used to. Uh, ORX. Found a few little bits, shrapnel, a uh, bit of cork, but I'm going from down there, and it's there, and it looks like a coin. Let me give it a clean, I'll get back to you. Well guys, I think it's a farthing. 
You can just make out Britannia on the back. Sorry about the wind noise. Coin in the pot, guys. Coin in the pot with the ORX. On to the ORX next one. Or ORX next one. Or it could be another one. But anyway, Niles right over there. Jim's over there. He's using the AT Max for a change. And Paul has disappeared. But anyway, guys. Coin in the pot. On to the next. Well guys, ORX does it again. Artifact. It's got a bit of a thing on it there. Anyone knows? Post below. On to the next. Right boys and girls. I've had my first coin. Unfortunately it's blank, but I don't care, it's a coin. Uh, Niles there, OTF, digging his little hole. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, that's the first one for me today. Uh, I will try clean it up, and see if there is anything on it. I've got the microscope as well. Well, yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, catch you on next. Right, guys, I've dug this target here. Uh, it's up there. It's only got a pan on it, it's got, it's only got swirls on it. Hollow on the back, blanked off there at the end. But it's definitely something. You know, it's definitely got a pattern on. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I'll show it now in a bit, see what he thinks. Right, catch you in a bit. Alright, guys, got another target. I just dug it out, and it's this. Uh, might be a. Come down. I haven't got a clue. Not a clue because it's the wrong shape, isn't it? Uh, no idea. Anyone else, leave, please leave a comment below. Right, catch you on next. Alright, guys. Uh, no target, uh, but, but it's a horse brass. Uh, the two things that goes on the back of it. Yeah, piece of horse brass. Looks like it's got number two on. Cool. Catch right, you next. Well, boys and girls, I've had a coffee break. And I just took this target, and there we go. Yeah, it's definitely a coin. But I think it's blank. Give it a quick wipe. Yep, yeah, definitely a blank one. It's a coin. Hi guys. I see Paul's using the ORX now. I'm trying it out. By yeah, that is a light, a light machine. Very light. Yeah, love it. But I found my first target with the uh, ORX, and it's. I'm not sure. I think that might be a head pin or something. I'm not sure. But well, yeah, that's the first find for that. Catch you in the next one. Right guys, got no target. And this is uh, it's hollow. Uh or part of a walking stick maybe. Could be a drop pole thing. Could be a knob of a door. No I've got a clue. Alright, catch on there. Well, guys, Niles here and Jim's here, and I've just found this. I've gone back to the original, and I've just found this. Do you know what that is? I think it's horse, isn't it? It's a bit of a drop up. Drop up. I don't think it is. It's a drop up. If anybody knows, post them below. But yeah, how cool is that? On to the next! Well guys, I've had a couple of musket balls, but look at the size of that one! 
monster. On to the next. Well, guys, they must have found something over there. They've been there a while now. I've just come across here. And coin number two. Let me give it a clean. It's a toaster, guys. Coin in the pot. Well, guys, eh? They say you can dig everything. A Napoleon the what? First, I believe. Napoleon the first. What about that, guys? Awesome. I'm telling you, stuff that's coming up. No silver yet and no hammers, but bloody hell. There's some, some good artifacts come up, haven't there? Lovely stuff, some lovely stuff. So, yeah, everybody on the field, OTF now. The main man. Pablo's over there. James is there. James has got an ORX like I used to have. <laughs> it pinched off me, guys. But, yeah, the ORX definitely the way to go. Uh, so, anyway, guys, from me and now, on to the next. On to the next. Well, guys and dolls, must admit, Pablo's done it again. Come on, Pablo, you have come on for this, this isn't this. Come here. Just come and sit there. No video, I know. No video evidence. Come on, go and sit there. I'll be here. I'll be right here. Well, guys. It's definitely a seal matrix. Definitely a wax seal matrix. He's been plodding away all day on his own. But yeah, that's definitely a seal matrix. It had an handle on top. But put it one way, I've not found one of them. Jim has. So yeah, cool fan. What will we be going up to next? That's the thing. Matrix in the park. On to the next one, is it, Paul? On to the next. On to the next. Well, boys and girls, uh, I've just reset my uh, Garrett, but I weren't getting any signals and that, so I'll reset it back to factory settings. Uh, been up this end before, and look at that. A nice little bit of silver. Got a flower design on it. Uh, I will give it a clean. I hope it's stamped somewhere. But that is absolutely awesome. Thanks, Niall, for that. Absolutely buzzing. Love a little bit of silver. So, yeah, reset the garret. Uh, Put it back to scratch settings and run on zero uh, all metals. Uh, I want my sensitivity down to two. I'm going to put it up and hopefully get a better, get some better signals. Uh, everything's fully on. So let's see how this goes. We're on here for an extra half hour. Yeah, we're on here for an extra half an hour see what we can find. Hopefully find something even better. Uh, the other Paul, not Detector Paul, the other Paul is with us. He found that cracking matrix. Wow. Uh, Paul's over there, digging away. So yeah, a nice little bit of uh, silver. It looks like a bit of a silver locket or something. But that is absolutely awesome. Right, catch on the next one guys. Well guys, my next signal, if anybody knows, pause below, it's thick, on to the next. Right guys, I uh, just dug this target, I didn't think it was anything, uh, but if you look at that, that's an old inch, and it's still got wood on it. Uh, I've not got a clue where it could be off. But that is pretty neat. That's a very old inch, that. So, yeah. 
off something small anyway. Absolutely brilliant that is. Not got a clue where it's off though. But that's definitely wood. And it's got the hinge. A little tiny hinge on it. Oop. Pretty cool. Alright, catch you on the next one. Well guys. Check it. Silver! Definitely silver. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll give it a clean when I get back. Silver in the hole, guys! Woo! Silver! On to the next. Well guys, it's been a while, but a coin, it's a bit toasted, on to the next. Right guys, I've got another target, tell me can you see it, yep, it's a clover, a three leaf clover. Shane went the fall. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, catch on next. Well, guys, my next signal. It's a horse. A toy horse led. Missing its head. You can see its saddle there. Cool, toy horse, on to the next. Well guys, this is the biggest one I've ever seen. A big watch winder. On to the next. Well guys, what a day. What an absolute day. What do you think James? Been a hard slog. Hard slog. Well, let's get to Paul's bits first. Bit of a clay pipe, a few buttons, that's a nice button. And that one is a lovely button. Okay. There. Couple of coins. Uh, this is a memorial lead something or other. Bit of a clay pipe. And this is a, a Robin Hood token, but we've not found anything about it and no date on it yet. This is a lovely find. But it's a button. Silver button. And Paul's find of the day, and it's the find of the trip, is his seal matrix. Let me just see if I've got it the right way up. Yep. Seal matrix. And Paul's a novice, and that's a bucket lister. I've only ever seen another one of them come out, and that's what James had. I've not even had one yet. Not as good as that, though. But, uh, yours is silver, though, yeah, isn't it? Mine's silver, yeah. But, yeah, seal matrix. Right, onto Jim's bits. Lovely bit of pottery. Trademark something on it. Bit of lead. Horse brass, huh? Is it horse brass? Yeah, horse brass. Oh, horse brass, sorry. Couple of buttons. Bull knob. Definitely a bull knob. Lovely bit of clay pipe. You're not losing that in a hurry. Button. Coin. Can't really see anything. Now, this. What Cleggy says is off a flintlock musket is the screw that holds the flint because it's threaded the. But yeah, that's what that is. 
If anybody knows any different, please let me know. Little clover. Don't know what that is. It's light. And another one. Light. But Jim's best fan today. Silver. It looks like it was part of a locket. I think it was the front part because there's flowers on front. So yeah, that's Jim's fans, and there for me. Good for you musket balls, big iron ring. Piece of a buckle. Big, heavy piece of lead. Don't know what it is, I don't think it's a perm guard. But yeah, big piece of lead. Uh, any ideas what this is, guys? Unless it's some sort of bulb thing, not too sure. I've got one, two, three, three coins. I don't know what this one is, but it looks like it's been hauled. It must have been meant to warn it a long time. And if anybody can tell me, I reckon these are Roman minims because there's Roman come off this field. But until I give them a clean, I'm not too sure. But they're irregular, they're pretty thick. But yeah, I reckon them's Roman minims. But if I'm wrong, everybody will correct me. A nice farthing. Lovely, Victoria, 1800 nod. And then my best part today, for my coins, is a silver. George IV. Can't get any date off, but I'll give it a clean when I get back. Silver. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons, ten buttons, a bit of a toy horse, a spoon, and this looks like a finial button. Jim rings it's a draw pull, but I don't. So any ideas on that? Two watch winders. That's a big one. Two watch winders. A lead token and my other best find we're reckoning this is a Saxon buckle we've looked at some uh, Saxon buckles on the internet and it pretty resembles it still got the tongue at the back still got the pin in the front I'll give it a good clean when I get up there's like little straps around it lines but yeah hopefully that's a Saxon buckle well anyway guys, it's been a herd slog and we found a good few bits and some cracking bits have come up. Yeah. So anyway guys, from me and from Jim. Uh, before that, a uh, big shout out to OTS Niall on the field, um, that was protecting. Yeah, he invited uh, us today. Please go subscribe to his channel, uh, throw a like on his video when he puts it up. And yeah, big shout out to Niall, thank you very much, it's been an exciting day, lots of cracking finds, so yeah, from Detective Jim, <laughs> and Detective Bolt, and don't forget the competition's still running, big prize, hoodie, t-shirt and cup to one lucky winner, we'll be drawing it on the 1st of August, so yeah, all you have to do, watch the videos, like and subscribe, <coughs> chill out, we'll catch you on the next, and from me, Jim, and Paul, who's a bit shy. On to the next. On to the next, guys. Have a good one.